In module one, we're gonna cover why it's important to wear your uniform and badge, keep your smartphone fully charged, patrol around the clock, stay awake and alert at all times, and fill out and submit firewatch logs. A firewatch guard is the first line of defense. When you're on duty, you must watch for fire hazards in order to minimize fire risks. You are there to prevent fires, make sure people and properties are safe during fire-related emergencies. It's important that you follow the protocols outlined in this course to carry out your responsibilities. So let's start with the basics. Number one, wear your uniform and your badge while on duty. For high visibility, you have to wear your Firewatch security uniform, a reflective vest, and a badge so people and emergency responders can easily see you and identify you. If there is a fire emergency, people will turn to you first to contact the fire department or call 911. If your fire watch takes place at night or in dark conditions, make sure you have a powerful flashlight to detect signs of smoke, fire, other hazards. Number two, keep your smartphone fully charged. Your smartphone must be fully charged at all times in the event that you need to alert 911. Report hazards, incidents, or emergencies to the fire department, the property owner, and ACS. Now, you may also need your smartphone to report your observations during your shift using Silver Track. Number three, patrol the premises round the clock. You're not there to put out fires or to rescue people from dangerous situations. A firewatch security officer is not a fireman. Your job is to watch and patrol around the clock, covering all areas with potential fire hazards. Number four, stay awake and alert at all times. Can't say it enough. You must stay awake and alert at all times. Falling asleep, being distracted, could have severe consequences. Don't be like the security officer who ended up on breaking news for falling asleep on duty at JFK Medical Center when an emergency occurred. ER. You must be ready to respond quickly to emergencies. And finally, number five, submit fire watch logs. As a fire watch guard, you will be monitoring areas with an increased risk of fire. You might be patrolling a construction site with electrical hazards or an industrial plant where workers are welding metal. You could also be at a hospital where flammable liquids are stored or watching a crowded event that uses pyrotechnics. Wherever you're at, you must fill out and submit a fire watch log every 30 minutes throughout your shift. Firewatch logs are written and electronic records of your firewatch activities and observations during your shift. You should record any activities that take place in the area that you're monitoring and any hazards or safety concerns that you observe. In a later module, we're going to look more closely at how you can document and report your findings. So let's see what you learned in this first module. Do you know why firewatch guards need to wear a uniform? Why does your smartphone need to be fully charged at all times? Do you remember what essential duties a firewatch guard performs? Did you understand why you need to fill out a firewatch log? Just remember, you're gonna have a quiz at the end of this training. So if you can't answer these questions now, it's okay, but go back to the beginning of module one and take notes.